nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Oh. Hi right, guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. If you know me, you know me. If you don't, subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, that's fine. But today's video, as always, is just going to be me being 100% honest. Um, you know, over the last five or six years, after watching so many freaking bodybuilding shows, so many videos on bodybuilding, reading so many forums, I've seen in the flesh... Uh, natural bodybuilders from all walks of life, all ages, all sizes, ectomorph, endomorph, doesn't even matter. All right, the question today is what is the limit? What is the natural limit to building muscle and developing a physique? All right, and guess what, guys? If, <laughs> if you don't watch any, any of the rest of the video, all right, the one thing I'm going to say right now to all you guys before you fucking switch off is that there is no limit. There's no fucking limit. Why is there a limit? Why are you guys putting limits on yourself before you've even started, man? Come on. All right? I first started in the gym with absolute naivety. All right? I've talked about it in another video. I saw guys like Phil Heath and Ronnie Coleman up there on stage, and I thought the only reason they're bigger than me and their body looks different than mine is the fact that they've had longer to train. They're 35, 40 years old, man. I've trained for 25 years, you know, I've trained for what, two at the time, and I thought, well, that just gave me the motivation, man, I didn't need, I didn't need steroids, I didn't even fucking know about that shit, all I knew was the fact that from what I was doing so far, I was getting gains, they may be slow, but at the end of the day, I've just got to keep it up, and I'll, I'll get there, and um, that may not be true, all right, that's obviously not true, but the fact is that that attitude got me so far. And I'm still going on that attitude, you know? I'm a believer. When it comes to natural bodybuilders, I'm a believer. You get guys like Simeon Panda, Chris Jones, Matt Ogus. You've got guys like Doug Miller. If you don't know who, who Doug Miller is, um, he is the best natural bodybuilder in the world right now, I do believe. You've got guys like Kyoshi Moody. If you don't know who Kyoshi Moody is, he is the man, he's the most underrated guy in the whole entire world, all right? He is a six time. Mr. Natural Olympia. You'll hear about Phil Heath when he goes six times this year. You won't hear about Kyoshi Moody. He's a six-time Mr. Olympia on the natural bodybuilding stage. You watch one of these, you know, <laughs> professional natural bodybuilders and the look that they have on stage is totally different to your average gym goer or, you know, your your state natural bodybuilding show or, or something like that. These guys, not only do they combine fantastic genetics with you know the attitude of fucking balls to the wall training their nutrition's on point uh and and that's how they get these physiques that they do i don't think there's a there's a limit so i just want to touch on on age for a second the best natural bodybuilders all right the best ones you see out there it goes without saying they have trained for at least 15 years all right 15 20 25 years and you're trying to tell me that there's a limit on the pro progress you can make naturally? You're really going to try and tell me that it can stop when guys are 50 years old and they're still looking amazing on stage. They're winning pro natural competitions, these 50 year old guys. Okay, yes, they might be black, most of them, but you know, that's genetics for you, all right? These guys are still natural and that's what we're talking about today. What is the limit? to how much muscle you can build naturally or how, how far you can progress your physique. And that's another point I want to make just before I forget is the fact that making gains is not just, you know, building like mass, all right? It's not just building that muscle mass. Yes, in natural bodybuilding, those first two years, those first three years are going to be your absolute best. And anyone that I meet that is in that first six to 12 months in the gym, I tell them, man, I'm just like, fuck. All right, go and do your research. I can tell you all I want, but go and do your research on, on nutrition. Um, decide what you want to do. If you want to build muscle, man, start getting those carbs in, that protein. You know, that's the, that's the knowledge I wish I had in those first, few, in those first couple of years. But it, it took me to realize my gains weren't going that well, to go out and get some 
you know, read forums, get some advice, watch YouTube videos, put that into place in my own training and nutrition, and then I started getting better results. But shit, if I had been armed with that knowledge right at the start, holy crap, you know. I, I, I say to a lot of people as well, five years, all right, give yourself five years. Five years of solid training, nutrition, um, research, you know, get really involved in the fitness industry, realize what's going on, realize what a fake natty is, realize what's, you know, what you can achieve naturally. And um, after five years, man, if you don't have a, a half impressive physique, you're doing something wrong, all right? I think that would be, that would be the, uh, the, the point that I'd like everyone to get to before even considering going down that dark road. So I, I went off on a bit of a tangent there. What the, the point I wanted to make before was the fact that progressing and making gains is not just building muscle, all right? So you might, at age 35, after training for 15 years, you may be pretty much reaching your genetic potential as far as building mass, all right? N naturally, the thing that steroids do to guys, it jacks up your testosterone levels and it, you know, it's going to allow your frame to carry and maintain more muscle. On a natural dose of testosterone, whatever you're born with, all right, your body is not going to be able to maintain and carry all that muscle. It's going to get to a certain point and then it's just not going to go. So I guess as far as muscle mass and growth, that would be your genetic uh, limit. But as far as making gains, not only is it building mass, I believe that you know developing your vascularity um, over time, more veins will start popping out. Each time I cut down to below 10% body fat, I see more veins. I'm starting to develop tricep veins. Tricep veins are fucking sick, all right? What natural, like, you know, natural bodybuilders with fucking veins along their triceps, that's, that's awesome, you know, and I'm getting there. But I've been training for six years now. And I tell you what, in another 10 years, after I've been training for 16 years, I'll be 35 years old, and I want to be up on a natural Mr. Olympia stage, still preaching natural bodybuilding, still preaching good diet and nutrition, and having 10, 12, 15, 16 years of training behind me that, uh, you know, and these videos, man, that's why I'm making these videos too, I want to document the journey. I firmly believe that I'm going to fucking make it, man. I'm going to get up on that stage. So anyways, guys, it's getting dark, you probably can't even see me anymore. May as well put the light on here. Um, look, I know I go, I go off on a little bit of a rant um, every now and then, but with videos that I'm passionate about, um, like this one, I really am passionate about it, you know, I, I'll tell anyone who asks me the exact same things that I've told you right now, so, yeah, let's, I mean, I'm loving the journey, I, 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 I love the thought of the, the journey of a natural bodybuilder, I think that, why the fuck would you want to, you know, max yourself out in the first five years as far as size goes that's that's boring man that's fucking boring like anyway that aside getting back to the original question what is the limit to building muscle and developing your physique uh naturally there is no limit why would you put a limit on yourself like that there is no limit yes there may be a limit give yourself 15 years and you may be getting towards your size limit all right but as far as actually still developing your physique as far as developing vascularity, um, developing hardness, that density, uh, which only comes with time, as you guys know, muscle maturity. Muscle maturity is huge, man. Someone the exact same weight at the exact same body fat who've, who's been training for five years as opposed to someone who's been training for 20, it's just going to be a completely different look. Yes, the stats are the same, but the look's not. And so that's what I'm saying. After after you've got as big as you can, well, you can still develop your physique. So at the end of the day, there is absolutely no fucking limit. The only limit is, okay, yes, maybe when age becomes a factor at age 60. I really don't know. I mean, if you look after your body, if you don't fuck around in the gym, um, you, you know, you train for longevity, not for your ego. Uh, I think that at age 50, you can be in the best shape of your life. And I, I, truly believe at age 50 I will be in the best shape of my life. You see these 50 year old guys still dominating natural bodybuilding stages, it's crazy. But it comes back to my point, there is no limit, alright? So that was me ranting a little bit, I know I tend to go off track but I am passionate about this, I really am. Um, I hope you got something from the video, if not, let me know, give us a like, 
if you feel like I deserve it. Um, comment, subscribe would be absolutely fucking fantastic. You know, I'm really trying to grow my channel. I don't know where I'm going to end up, but I do know that I am documenting it. So wherever I do fucking end up, you'll see. So until next time, guys, have a great day. That's enough for me for tonight. Peace. Catch ya. Stranded, reaching